The few Indians who survived the wars, epidemics, and hunger were herded into the so-called reservations. To look after the Indians, the Bureau of Indian Affairs was instituted in 1824. But in fact, the BIA was the most effective instrument of the white man to oppress and systematically exploit the American Indians. As a result of the BIA policies, the Indians today are the poorest of the poor, poorer than the American blacks poorer than the Appalachian whites. The grim picture of the living conditions of the Indians can be seen on the reservations. 90% of the Indians live in houses not fit for human beings. The New York Times characterized the living conditions of the Indians with the following words, unfit even for pigs. The average annual income of an Indian family is about $1,500, less than half of what the U.S. government defines as minimum existence. Over 40% of the Indians are unemployed. In reservations like Pine Ridge, the unemployment rate in winter is about 80%. The poor and inhuman living conditions are a clue to why the average life expectancy of the Indians is only 46 years, one-third below the American average of 75 years. 5% of all the prison inmates in America are Indians, although they constitute less than 1% of the whole population. The suicide rate among the Indians is double that of whites. In the world